I finally got to build my Softy One Prom Programmer. This is the Chris Oddy replica board, and it's really nice to build. It's got a gold flash finish, making it um, very easy to solder. Um, my interest, though, is not so much in blowing proms as in using it as a prom emulator. So connecting it to another card and using the RAM on the Softy One um, as the develop development environment. So here you can see a National Semiconductor CPU application card. This has a SCMP 600, so the SCAMP2 processor, um, and is, comes as standard without a PROM fitted. So what I've done is uh, created a harness which connects the Softy and the APC card together um, and allows the the um, code to be developed on the softy and then run on the application card and uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate here today. So this is the code that I'm going to be entering into the softy. Um, it's a very simple uh, counter loop and it counts up to seven and that number it um, sends out to the flags on the uh, scampi processor. So um, when it's running you can see that the flags are toggling up and down. It's as simple as that. A mere 17 bytes, so easy to enter. So this is the setup that I'm using. You've got the Softy One um, connected to a, a VDU, um, and that's uh, displaying the contents of the RAM. There's 1K of RAM on Softy. Um, and you can see there's a ribbon cable there, which is connecting the Softy to the CPU application card. This is the block diagram. So on the left you've got the softy and on the right the CPU application card. Um, the the softy generally is in bus master mode, so with its Nenin set low, so with the switch one closed. And um, it's uh, it, it has no interaction with the CPU card at that point. When switch one is closed, then the CPU card becomes the bus master and it's able to um, get access to Softy One's memory through the PROM header. So you've got the data bus and the address bus there uh, connecting to the Softy RAM. So now I'm going to enter the short piece of code um, that we're going to run to demonstrate this. Um, I'm not that quick at typing on the Softy, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. And now I'm going to uh, connect a scope to the flag or flag zero output on the processor. That will be our monitor point for demonstrating that the code uh, is running. So up till now the softy has been running as effectively the bus master. Um, it's got control of all the buses and the application CPU application card is sitting idle um, just with, with its buses tri-stated. So what we're going to do now is flick a switch and put the application card into uh, bus master mode and this is just using the Nenin inputs on the two cards. Um, and the, the data in the softy memory will appear as a prom on the application card. We can flick that over. Okay, so now the application card is active, and if we have a look on the screen and start it running, there you go. We've got the flag being toggled on and off um, at a rate of less than 15 hertz. That says um, so. Okay, so that's working. So that's good. So we're now emulating the EEPROM on the softy. So if we switch it back to softy having control, and what I'm going to do is change the delay loop. Currently it's set to a maximum value of um, FF. I'm going to change that to 01, so sort of a minimum delay, and then um, put, put the application card back as the master and, and run the code again. 
Okay, so the code is running. If we just expand the time base, we can now see that it's running at 455 hertz. So there's a, a kind of a you know a typical um, test, modify, retest type application. The other thing you notice is that the display on the softy um, is is breaking up whilst the application card has access to the bus um, because the, the video buses are just floating at that point. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting using the softy as an EEPROM emulator as opposed to an EEPROM blower. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.